turn on for branch protections, dismiss PR approvals when a new commit is merged, why or why not? So the answer is for cloud policy unilaterally, yes, we always dismiss uh, pull request approvals as soon as uh, new commits are pushed because it's stale. There's no way to programmatically enforce that, that, it, that the new push does anything similar to what the previous one did. We just uh, force a re, uh, re, 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 uh, code review process. What's the counter argument to that? Anybody else uh, categorically do the opposite of what we say? The overhead to the, you know, developer process. Um, True. I, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit on the fence, but I'm, I'm definitely leaning uh, your way. Um, yeah. I just wanted to get more people's opinion. Um, the, the, what I just, what I just, you know, what I kind of figured out about it was like, if I have, so the very next checkbox in that window is require code owner approval, right? So if you have your code owners file set up and you change three files and it happens to be owned by three different people, you know, the, the three files are each owned by a different code owner, you might have, you know, require one approval set, but you're going to actually need three approvals. It's right? true. Yeah. And then let's say two people approve it. And then one person has some nitpicky little change. And if I make a nitpicky little change to one line, I'm going to satisfy the third person, but I'm going to have to go back to the other two people and get their reapproval, you know, and that's not a huge deal, but it wastes a little bit of time. And, it does. and it particularly but... in my, particularly in my company and, and field, um, you know, people aren't sitting there hovering over their GitHub all the time, you know, so it might take me a couple hours to yeah. get another approval because, you know, they're off in meetings or whatever. Um, however, the very important key, you know, distinction and, and why they probably still should be done is if I change a make file, you know, that's, that's owned by the admin team or whatever, and I get the approval from the admin team, and then I change it again. It does not require another approval from them unless you have that box clicked. Yeah. It, so if I not... change it to be something innocuous and they approve it, and then I change it to be something evil, they're never going to see the evil change. Exactly. It, 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 it really is going back to the honor system at that point. And then what is the benefit of it? When I think the real benefit of branch protections and the code owners is that it enables a governance more by policy and it allows you to take a step back and allow a lot more autonomy for things except for when certain key things change. So I don't think you got to do code owners just for the fact of doing code owners. You should actually do code owners when you need to have those code owners review these changes. Uh, changes to like your GitHub actions, maybe uh, changes to IAM, uh, changes to stuff like that. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I was gonna say without that, it's like uh, it's like asking for uh, the signature on the bottom of the page, and then you fill out the contract later. You know, yeah. if you don't have that, it's like. You could write yeah. whatever you want in there at that point. It's not really getting someone to approve it if you don't if you don't do that. Also, really uh, important thing I should almost not say. I know of a company that screwed up their code owner's file, and uh, the problem is that there's no real the the default behavior if you have a corrupt code owner's file is no behavior. So. So the problem is like this code owner's file, if you refer to a team, for example, that's private, uh -uh, doesn't do anything. If you refer to a GitHub app, doesn't do anything. So uh, one of the things that we are uh, just uh, working on right now is uh, we've just uh, released is this, is a uh, adding code owner's validation um, every time that file changes. Highly recommended. Otherwise, it's a false sense of security that can go really wrong. <laughs>